Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to set up the OpenBore Arcade Emulator on your PC for Windows 10. So this is for Windows only, and uh, this probably works on Windows 7 and 8 as well, but I will be using Windows 10 for this video. So the GitHub page will be linked in the description, and it was actually updated last year on April, so all you want to do is just download the latest build, and then just save it somewhere to your downloads folder. Next, what you want to do is find a game that you want for it. So I will leave a mega link in the description that has all of these pack games on. Now, most of these are custom games or demos, um, so you can download them and it's okay to get them for free. So you can just choose any game you want. Um, there's tons on here. I'm just going to get uh, this, this one right here, Art of Fighting. So once you find a game you want or you find multiple, you just click download a zip and then it will start downloading. Right, so once your game has finished downloading, you want to head over to your downloads folder on your PC and you'll be able to find your game and the emulator in here. So double click into the emulator zip file and it's gonna come up with a few versions. All we're interested in right now is the Windows version. So drag and drop that in your downloads folder and we can now close out of this zip file and delete it because we no longer need it. Now with your game, Double click to go into that archive and just drag and drop the pack file in your downloads folder and we can do exactly the same thing. We can now delete this zip file because we no longer need it. So get your pack game and drag it inside of the Windows folder. Then drag it inside of the open bore folder and then drag it inside of the packs folder. Now with the pack games you can only have one game in here at a time so you can't have multiple ROMs in one folder. Basically whatever game you want to run you'll put it in the packs folder. If you want to keep all your ROMs in one place and then just create a separate folder for that. But here's the emulator itself. It's really nice because it's portable. Um, you can even run this off a USB stick if you want to. But let me show you how it works. So just double click on the EXE and it will open like this. Now whatever you have in your packs folder, it's going to auto load it. So as you can see for me, it has auto loaded the game. Now it uses um, certain controls just like enter and the mouse keys. So enter is basically what press start is. We want to go down to options using our arrow keys and press enter. Go into video options, scroll all the way down to scale and just start up scaling it. We can also just drag the window around with our mouse. So you can actually go full screen. I'm just going to leave it like this because that is fine for me. Now I'm just going to go back and press enter. Also in sound options, I want to turn everything down uh, because it's actually kind of annoying. So I'm just going to mute everything. Okay, so that is everything now muted. So I'm just going to use the arrow keys to scroll down and press enter on back. So now we can play the game. Now obviously every game is different, but they all have this video options and sound options and stuff like that. Also has control options. If you want to read the controls, we're just going to go back and it also has system options. But let's just go back to the main page and let's just go back again and let's go on start game. There's also how to play um, if you want to learn the controls and stuff like that. So let's go on start game and just hit enter. Let's do a new game quick and let's do a story mode. So they're all these kind of style, um, I'd say kind of Street Fighter style um, fighting games. They're all like really old classic arcade games as well. Um, pause is always enter. So if you want to pause the game, hit the enter key and then obviously use the arrow keys. And most of these games, A is normally the key you'll use to punch with. So it will tell you in the settings if a game has a slightly different um, button setup. So here we are on stage one. It's pretty much just a really basic fighting game. I actually kind of like these style games. Now these are a lot better um, if you have one of those kind of arcade stick things. I don't actually have one, um, but if you guys do, you can definitely use these um, on these type of games. So that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you set up the OpenBore emulator on Windows 10. Really nice basic arcade emulator with loads of custom homebrew games you can play for free. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I made this video because emulators was actually the most requested thing uh, when I put a poll in my community tab. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.